ordinary horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver, the Lone Ranger. Plenty far, Kingsley. Yes, tell him. We've got to keep on the trail. Douglas gang must be caught. Look! Cut! Driver, Kimisabi. Wound isn't serious. Uh, You'll be able to drive the stage. I mean, lose train and rocks. Looks like we we're just minutes too late. Now, what we do? We'll catch them, Tano. It's just a matter of time. Here's your coffee, Grandpa. Well, thank you, Johnny. You know, I don't know what I'd do without you. I don't know what the town's going to do without you, Grandpa. Bet you they sure hate to see you retire. Well, I'm not getting any younger, boy. The man has to step down sometime. Just won't be the same. Well, look here, I'm not dying, Johnny. I'm just retiring. Besides, Jim Hanna is a good man. Oh, he'll do fine. Are you sorry, Grandpa? About not being marshaled anymore. Well, I suppose I am. Some, anyways. You know, a man can't live one kind of life of 40 years without being just a little sorry to leave it. But what'll we do now? You and me? Ho, oh, ho, we'll find plenty to do. Lots of hunting and fishing. And look, when school's out, we might even ride over to Cerro and visit your aunt. Eh? You want me to start packing some of these things? Oh, we've still got a couple of days, Johnny. There's plenty of time. Say, I believe you're worrying more about this than I am. Nobody thinks you're old, Grandpa. Just don't seem right they ought to make you quit. Well, I've had a good life, Johnny. Come through some very hard times without a scratch. And I don't want to push my luck forever. My hands are still steady. Eyes good as new. Oh, I'll find plenty for me to do. Fixing guns and the like, you know. Folks around here seem to figure I'm pretty good at it. You're the best. You know, I, I might even open up a, a little gun shop. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I think I'd like that. And I can help you, Grandpa. Sure. You can teach me how to fix guns. Yep. Of course, I never could be as good as you. Oh, well, now, I've been doing this for a long time, you know. I suppose I could do most of this with my eyes closed by now. But you'll learn. Just takes perseverance. Yes, sir. Now look here, you quit fretting and go outside and play. I've got to get this six-gun put together. 
I'll just stay and watch you, Grandpa. All no, right. I won't say a word. <laughs> I'll see you. Griff. What is it? The Douglas gang are robbing the bank. You stay here, Johnny. I'm going to Jim. Johnny, it won't be much longer. But why did he take a chance like that? Why, Mr. Hanna? Griff's a brave man, Johnny. He's never been afraid of anything. Doc Reed, is Grandpa all right? Is he hurt bad? He's hurt some. But if you take real good care of him, he'll be sitting up in a couple of days. Isn't that great news, Johnny? I told you nobody could keep Griff Allison down. I'm afraid it's not all good news, Jim. What do you mean, Doc? The bullet he took has done permanent damage. I've seen things like this before. There's nothing I can do. I don't understand, Doctor. What's wrong? Try to understand, son. Your grandpa is going to need you now more than ever. Got to be brave. I will. Let's have it, Doc. What's happened to Griff Allison? He's blind. <laughs> Honey? Yes, Grandpa? Is there anything you want? My eyesight. But I suppose nobody can get that for me. Doc Reed says you can sit up tomorrow. Says you'll be able to move around in a few days. I ain't very good at moving around in the dark. Johnny Allison? What do you want? We'd like to talk to your grandfather. You can't talk to him. I'm supposed to take care of him, that's what I'm going to do. Well, don't worry about this mask. Griff Allison is an old friend of ours. Who is it, Johnny? The masked man. Says he's a friend of yours. Is he with an Indian? Yes. It's all right, boy. Hello, Marshal. It's been a long time, mister. Guess you can see I'm not in good shape. Well, we heard. We're mighty sorry. Wish being sorry could help. They might as well have killed me and been done with it. Not much good to anybody now. That not sound like Marshal Griff Allison. Without my eyesight, I'm as helpless as a newborn calf. That's not true, Griff. As a matter of fact, you can't help us. We've been on the trail of the Douglas gang for weeks now. We come to Granite Creek as soon as we hear about bank robbery. Better talk to my deputy, Jim Hanna. He's running things now. The posse's been all over the territory, sir. They didn't find a trace of those outlaws. I'm almost certain they have a hideout in this area. You don't expect me to find it, do you? I can hardly find my way across the room. You know this territory better than any man alive, Griff. We thought you might have some idea as to where we could start. Just a couple of days ago, I could go along with you. Now... We'll find those men, Griff. That's a promise. Marshal, if you were outlaw, where you hide out? Well, that's hard to say. Shadow Mountain, I suppose. A lot of small canyons and arroyos up there, but... Might take weeks to cover that area. The time is on our side, Griff. They can't run forever. Well, I just wasn't so helpless. There's a map on the wall in front, sir. It shows a Shadow Mountain area. Thanks, Johnny. We'll talk to you later, Griff. It seems kind of hard to believe that Grandpa will never see again. Other men have overcome handicaps, Johnny. Your grandfather can do it, too. But how? What can he do? Well, right now, he's got to prepare himself for a different kind of life. And you can help him. Me? Well, he loves you, son. You're the one person he's going to depend on. And how you react to this is going to make all the difference. What do you mean, sir? Well, I mean your grandfather has to stand on his own two feet. The more he depends on you, the more helpless he's going to become. Do you understand what I mean? I... I think so, sir. Do you think you can be firm with him? Firm and kind? That's how he brought me up, sir. That's just how you have to bring him up. 
He needs you now just as much as you ever needed him. Can you do it, Johnny? I, I'll try. I know you will. You have your job, and we have ours. And of the two, yours is the hardest. You keep your chin up. Clever men, Tonto. That's right, Kim Asemi. Them cover tracks well. Two days now, we find nothing. We better split up. We can cover more ground that way. Now, where we meet, Kim Asemi? Rock Canyon at sunset. back to Granite Creek. Now move out. Still don't seem right somehow. Mask man working on the side of the law. Keeping my identity hidden makes the pursuit of criminals easier, Mr. Hanna. Well, Griff says it's all right. It's good enough for me. Do you think you'll get the other men, sir? I think so, son. Johnny! Yes, Grandpa? How about that shoe? You're going to bring it in? I'll get it, John. You rest a bit. Grandfather keeps you mighty busy, doesn't he, Johnny? I've been doing what you said, but it just doesn't seem to work. Grandpa gets mad if I don't do what he says. Yes, I know. You just have to be patient with him. The doc even said he could get up, but he just won't do it. He just doesn't seem to want to do anything. Marshall Allison had fine gun collection. Grandpa made that one. Carved the whole stock by hand, too. Your grandfather is one of the best gunsmiths in the territory. He even talked about opening up a gun shop someday. But I guess he'll never be able to do it now. Maybe he will, Johnny. What do you mean? I think I know a way how to jar your grandfather out of his attitude. I've watched Griff work with guns before. Maybe he can still do that kind of work. Give this to him. Ask him to repair it. But he can't. I'll pick it up the first thing in the morning, just before we start out on the trail again. Sure don't see how he can fix it. Don't tell him how it was broken, Johnny. No, sir. I won't. Remember, first thing in the morning. I'll tell him. Here, Grandpa. What kind of a trick is this, boy? You know as well as you're standing there, I can't repair no gun. The masked man thought you could do it, Grandpa. I'm blind. Don't anybody remember that? Blind. I can't see. You said once you could do it with your eyes closed. Well, that was different. Maybe I could do it, if you tell me what to do. Ah, uh, it wouldn't work. Huh. This gun's busted real good. He wanted it by morning. Maybe if you try, I'll get your tools and... No, no, just leave me alone. Grandpa... Go on, boy! Expecting a blind man to fix a gun. In the dark. In the dark. They don't know. They just don't know. But I know. I know, and I'm licked.
Jail's just down there. Hardly anybody on the street. I don't know, Cole. We're taking a big chance. Billy's my brother. Chance or no chance, I'm not letting him rot in jail. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Jim! What is it, Johnny? Prisoners escape. Nothing I can do. How do I'll take care of the Douglas gang? Wait a minute, mister. You're forgetting something. What's that? You're done. You can't chase the Douglas gang without it. You fixed it, Grandpa. You really fixed it. Sure I did. Can't let being blind keep me down. Thanks, Griff. See us if we ride in from here. Yes, I know. Those rocks are slowing them down. I'll ride along the ridge and block the other end of the canyon. You keep behind them. I'm going after Cole. all this mystery. You've both been acting awful strange. Just wait, Grandpa. Uh, what's going on? 
All your friends are here, Griff. They wanted to give you a little retirement surprise. Surprise? You put in a lot of years of service for the people of Granite Creek, Griff. And they figure it's only fitting that they show you their appreciation. It's right here, Grandpa. Well, I just can't figure what kind of surprise you're talking about. The shop, Grandpa, for you. Read the signs, Johnny. We just painted it this morning. Griff Allison, gunsmith. Gunsmith? But how... You've got all the equipment you need, Grandpa. And the banker's letting you stay a year rent-free. Lots of people have already brought in guns, Griff. You're going to have plenty of business. Don't know what to say. Never was much for speeches. That was a masked man's idea, Griff. He started the whole thing off by donating a parcel of silver. And the rest of us just chipped in what we could afford. I just can't believe it. I've got a lot of friends, Griff, but I figured that masked man rates pretty high on the list. Who is he, Grandpa? Who is the masked man? The finest fighting man for justice in the whole United States, Johnny. He's the Lone Ranger. I am Silver! 